Be bad if it hurt my tongue again. So I'll speak slowly. So yeah, I'm just very interested to see if there's actually going to be any more victims because there's only seven of us left. If there are any more... Well, I said, I already said I, I see a victim coming, but... <clears throat> if there's also going to be killers. So like, if there's a killer and a victim to go, then we'd go down to like five people, which is less than the first game. We started with more than the first game, so that would be bad. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. <laughs> That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nikamaru in the amazing funhouse. Yeah was Gundam Tanaka. Nice. I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now they've decided who the killer is. Let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. I shoot the class trial's finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. No matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Fall, my tears. Why do you want to talk to one who is lost? Because I want to know why. Was it just the starvation thing, or was it something more? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say anything. Listen well. It's what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Oh? Correct? How pitiful. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. This, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fine. Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died? This, too, must be the will of causality. If he was just trying to cling to life. There are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. What do you mean? Explain! <laughs> Shall reveal it all. Oh? Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. Why? Why do you have to be a douchebag? Is it just because you're hungry or what? By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomar to the tower. And this is what happened. Nekoma and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. <clears throat> I should say I expected as much from Mekamaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. That's your excuse? He could have run away, or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked his life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you this. He was serious, too. He gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? Oh, really? I mean, you were the one who decided, devised the killing plan, though. But, okay, go on. <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. Oh, then I would have loved that. Why couldn't we have had that instead? And it would have been more sad, too. I would have been like, Nakamaru, what? Why couldn't we do that instead? That would have been so much cooler. The game is even admitting this case isn't as cool as it could have been. Damn it. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it. Nobody knows that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Figuring that out would have been so cool. Why couldn't we have done that? <sighs> Fuck you, game. You're even teasing it now. Could it be? Mikamara really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. You mean Robocoach Mekamaru? The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Comforting? Hmm. That's a great line. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> yes, what is your reason? Is it just starvation? What the hell else is there? I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, Lords of Darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. 
Stop it with the horse shit. Why'd you kill him? I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. Oh, and you're willing to let everyone else die to get you out of there? Because you know that's when it's going to happen, right? Even if you do think he's annoying, killing him means you have to let everyone else die at the trial or die yourself. You douchebag. What's your real fucking reason? And if that isn't, then you're a fucking fucking fuckhead. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Maybe that's part of maybe that's part of Monokuma's tampering. Made him more of a thirst for killing. Or maybe that's just how he is. I don't know. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. And in the end he used cowardly tactics as far as I'm concerned. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. That is Why did you fight? We were all friends. Even if Nekomaru did attack you, the fact is, you started this. Why? Okay, fuck the stopping this part. I don't even care about that. Why did you start it? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you this. I must say this. Yes? What's the point of living if you're just... Waiting until you finally die. Hmm? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that! That is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation! You tell us to just wait till we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Do you mean that you'd rather die? Fall. My tears. Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. It is simply a reason to give up. Still, though, is that all it was? Was it as simple as you were hungry? I would like to think that was just the red herring reason and there was a real reason, but... I mean, I know that's a real reason, but... They really have to use the obvious one? If you flinch, you will die! Just an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Um. Cannibalism? No. The dog eat dog world. I know what it means. I think most people do. Fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Oh, you're going like real talk with this. Okay. I wasn't trying to be literal, but okay. Listen well. That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf this world. If a world will consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I renounce you. It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. And yet, in the end, you still show yourself to be selfish. If Soccer was around, she would have just killed herself. And then, she would have made it obvious, and hopefully no one would have tampered the crime scene this time, and then we could have all moved on, and we could have actually eaten again. If we had someone that's selfless in our group, that could have happened. But no, we just had someone selfish instead. You. Are you saying all that just to justify what you did? But... Sounds like Nikomar felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall, my tears. And you did it fairly sloppily too, Mike. You very easily could have avoided getting caught. Don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. That's such an obvious thing, though. Is it really that simple? I kind of wish it wasn't. 
This case. Man, couldn't it be something cooler? Like, the starvation would have been like, of course you did because of this. And they would have been like, no, it was this, but no. You. Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagino, I only did it once, but... <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. Well? After listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that... It's also because you unexpectedly admitting your crime without much resistance. What? Don't tell me you, you didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? If he did, then you commit suicide, you ass! Let me look at that again. Um, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly made your comma. If you did, A, you should have committed suicide, and B, you shouldn't have fucking hid the truth for so long. So, no, I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that. Maybe that was, like, in the back of his mind as a possibility, but on the front of his mind, he was a selfish mofo. <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka. History's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like dust in the wind. Not in a billion, not in a million, did that backwards, and not in ten billion years. The name of Pandemonium is impossible. Is that it? I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Let's be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> I don't like this. Not only does it feel unsatisfactory, but everything about it just feels like it could have been better, and they've even admitted it. The case could have been so much better, like, because of what they said, for one thing, and just other things as well. Like, this case, I don't like it. It's probably still better than case two, but mm, it's iffy. Yes, indeed. Got it. <laughs> Heard a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Please wait. It's just too much. I beg of you. Please help Gundam. Huh? Miss Sonya. This is kind of similar to what happened at the end of case two of the first game. Where, um, where Ishmaru cried out for Iwata, although that was a bromance. This is a romance. <laughs> I beg of you. Although Iwata just snapped. His killing was a snap thing. A Gundam, he planned it. So, Gundam is worse. I know Iwata wasn't put in the starving situation, and that's much severer, but still. <sighs> How pitiful. Sonya. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam. Hmm. It's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. I do not mind, however. What is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Hmm? Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. I think the sleeping one's actually awake for once. However... There is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Your evil was cool back when it wasn't actually evil. Open sesame pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. Never even got a real breakdown. Eh. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! 
Even the end of case two kind of gave me some fe a little bit of feels. A little bit. Um, not as much as some people, probably. I kind of hated them both, because at the time I was like, Me hero! Fuck you guys! But that scene's grown on me a bit. Like, the, the character development with Fuyiko as is what I'm talking about. Um, case three, uh, I felt kind of satisfied at the end. Like, yeah, there weren't enough red herrings, but it was still a decent case. This time around, though, at the end, I just... I don't feel it. I feel disappointed. Which is weird. Does this mean it's worse than Case 2? No, I think I was more angry at the end of Case 2, actually. This time I'm disappointed, but at the end of Case 2 I was angry. Is angry worse than disappointed? I think so. I don't know. Hamsters, no! Is that a rabbit? Oh, and a cat. Are those all those pets? All those pets that have maybe died over the years or something? Heaven, not hell! Pet heaven! Honestly, the killer in this case, it does feel similar to Uwada, but I liked Uwada better, and I felt sadder as death, but not in the sense of sadder as in, oh, I'm more disappointed. Sadder in the sense of, no, I get Uwada! Because, like, it was sad. He had a snap killing, and, you know, that was unfortunate, but from there, he was just a coward, which is why he tried to, you know, like, go against the flow. When the truth was revealed, he was willing to accept it. He's just... But Gundam is kind of the same, but it's different enough that I, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In this case. Oh, okay, also, I should probably make something clear. I don't hate this game. I don't dislike this game, even. I know I've said three out of the four cases I don't think are very good, and I stand by that. But... I don't know. I just give myself high standards is probably the thing. So I, I should probably make that clear. I'm enjoying the game. I am. But the cases, the cases themselves, this is like the stuff that's not happening in the cases themselves is usually pretty good. Like uh, even the cases have their really good moments. It's just in general, when you look at, when you look at the case as a whole, for case two, three, and four, each time it's been underwhelming. Doesn't make the game bad. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. The point is, I like the game, don't like the cases so much. Except for case one, that was still really good. Anyways. No! Ellipses. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. I get that, but it's friggin' willing to kill everyone else to live? I mean, somebody has to do it? If it was really gonna... I don't know... I get it, but... I don't know, it just feels like... It feels like he was too indecisive, kinda, like... Either kill yourself or be more focused on living. And again, the whole Nekomaru thing. 
would have been much better if we got Nekomaru. Like, I don't know. Nekomaru feels like a nice guy, though. I don't know if he'd... Maybe. We could have seen more into that. But... Uh, I don't know. I think I would have preferred that the other way around. Would have been more interesting. Anyways. Let's go. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. What would have happened to us if no one committed a killing? Like, would we have all starved to death? I don't know. Damn it. Indeed. So pissed off, I need to throw something. D damn it! You'll spend so much time worrying about each other. Next to that, things ended up like this. Y'all full of shit, every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. The worst. Why am I so weak? I really don't know what to say to that. Gundam, you should have killed her. There you go. That's what I should. Okay. Meh. Oh. Such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. Yeah. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. But what the fuck happens if Monokuma puts us in another goddamn funhouse? Like, I'm sorry, fuck you, Monokuma, more than anything, for this case. Like, making us all starve to death? You've never had such a direct motive before, and... I, I don't know. It... It kind of pisses me off. Because it kind of goes against what I feel... The dang and rumple games were about like it's putting them in situations where they kill each other, but it's not putting them in such a situation where they have to kill each other. Like it'll it'll give motives, sure, but nothing like decisive. Nothing like you'll die if you don't kill somebody else. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of the motive this time around. The spare disease was weird, but it was better than this. So I don't know. If not, you are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he'll be very cross with us. Now, didn't you see the cutscene? His uh, animal friends took him up to heaven. They had they had angel wings, so that's how you can tell. You're right. You're right. But first of all, Nagita, what the fuck's up with you? Ugh. Also, this is just the opening act. How long is this game? <laughs> uh, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So. Don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey! Hey! So how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? Class trial is over, so it's easy to hurry back over to Jabwalk Island. <laughs> the Kelly's drill trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Yeah, I was gonna get the fucking second Monokuma, the, the Monokuma plushie on the second island before case four was over, but I can't do that. I couldn't do that. Now I have to do it now, and I also got the one case four. Apparently I missed one there. Hopefully it's not in the funhouse, but, uh. Wait! Hold on! How much longer are we gonna keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he gonna keep doing this? How long is this gonna continue? Now then. <laughs> After feeling down for so long, I finally feel fresh. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey! Hold on a sec, that mooch is too damn fast! It's not like that. It's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Yeah, some crying, I guess. Huh. She's certainly something else. <laughs> I'm starving. Hey, hey. Let's go back for now and eat. And then after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then let's do our best again. You're right. With this, the class trials come to an end, and once again we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. At that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. The only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. <laughs> I 
I'm definitely lucky. Never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. Oh. Before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. No one could tell that you were lying? There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. Should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it cost me a lot of life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I can't ignore this. Oh, really? Monokuma appears! Monokuma's arrived! Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you alone tonight, too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see, so you can tell. Hmm? Perhaps you found out who the traitor is? <laughs> you know me well. Well. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. So why you summoned me anyway? Were you finally going to confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? There's information about 16 people in the file I received. And let me guess, one of them isn't on it? Or wait. Or or, or maybe Biakio wasn't one of them. Or something. I don't know. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even know? There's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? This file contains documents that were created at Hope's Big Academy, right? Of course! I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making! Former headmaster, do you mean Junko or the real one? But... This file even contains information about that traitor. Was that person also a former student of Hope's Big Academy? Who knows? I wonder! Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by, by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well... It's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all riled up! Well, you're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. Even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monomi after losing your magic stick. The chair's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no. That's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shing. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> it's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Oh? Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. Sure! I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right? However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no. That's a big no-no! Unbelievable. I want to make everyone in your group free to spare. That includes you, too. Well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right! You're a true believer of hope after all! I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason! Huh? Reminds you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person... Man. They must be extremely unlucky! <laughs> Quite the opposite. 
Like... But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Well... Am I? Actually, I think I'm very lucky. Say what? Hmm? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope! <laughs> I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope! Oh my god, the boater is so big right now! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Sorry, but we already have an ultimate hope. He's called Makoto Nagi. And you're not quite the same. Not quite. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Although, he's a very twisted version of him. Hey. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Huh? See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Oh? Yeah. Oh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on the island? Hey. Answer my question. Th that's... If that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> Who are you waiting for, huh? Interesting. And of course, the countdown. How many days we got? Like four or three or something? Five. Five days, 11 hours. What is that counting down to, damn it? Well, I guess that's the end of this uh, chapter. Are there going to be any more murder cases? If there are, there'll be less students than there were in the first game, which would be weird. So how many traitors are there? Like, there's one traitor we know of at least, I think. Is there more than one? Bread of... for destruction. Hellhound earring. Oh, yeah. They brought that back. 